Hello, everyone. So your lab opens this week. So what I would like to do is go over your lab with you. So let me share my screen. All righty. So you should be able to see my screen. Now, where are your labs located? Your labs are located in course content. All right. So you go to course content. You'll scroll down. you go to the course content folder. Then you scroll down to your labs. All right. Now, the first lab that you're going to be doing, disregard any extra labs. You would not be doing bridge lab uh, this semester. So short. Uh, well, my 371 class, disregard bridge lab. Sorry. My 381 class, you will be doing the bridge lab. But 371, uh, please disregard bridge lab 381. Yes, you will do bridge lab. But today is Boat Lab. All right. So this is where you find it. You select Boat Lab, and this is the content for the Boat Lab. Um, it's you're going to design, not really design, you're going to build uh, different forms of and a boat with aluminum foil. So I've had students uh, make various types of shapes. Uh, using aluminum foil. And what we're testing here is uh, buoyancy, the buoyancy force. Now, I know we haven't gotten the buoyancy in force in the lecture. This is okay because it's such an easy lab. Uh, so we're, we'll get to buoyancy, I believe, in two weeks. Um, or, yeah, yeah, two weeks. Two weeks. Chapter eight. But in who? We're covering buoyancy. And so the premise of this lab is you're going to need some pennies. Uh, you'll make five by five sheets of uh, squares of aluminum foil. Just tell your mom. It's like, mom, I know I'm wasting your aluminum foil, but it's for my class. It's for this online class. If we were all meeting face to face. We would, of course, provide you with the aluminum foil. Uh, but seeing that we're online, uh, we will not be providing you with aluminum foil. Because this is stuff you already have already. Yeah, just tell you my mom, I'm just let me go out and buy a few sheets of uh, aluminum foil if you don't mind. Please, thank you, mother. I love you. And if you live with your dad, same grandmother, whomever you live with your parents, just tell them, parent, please let me borrow some aluminum foil. I'll give it back when I'm done. They probably won't want it, okay? They probably want you to throw it away because you're going to put some, some old dirty pennies in it or something in it, right? Because the gist of this is you're going to need Five sheets, you're going to need pennies or something that can, that is heavy. Uh, you really need a ruler. Just, you know, assume, make an estimation. You know, previous lecture, chapter five is estimating, estimate what five by five is, little comparison. But uh, you are going to need something like a plastic tub, or you can just do it in your sink, right? Fill it up with some water, and you need water, right? And so what, what you're going to do is you're going to, in your lab notebook, you're going to create. Let me go to that. Let's go to lab notebook. Lab notebook. Where is your lab notebook at? All right. Your lab notebook is the assignment is here for the boat lab notebook. But what I want to do is take you to course content. And I want to show you templates. So if you course content, scroll all the way to the bottom, you see templates. Templates. All right. And then look. It's a lab notebook template. You select, you select that, and it could be the exam book or it could be a spiral notebook. It doesn't matter. And you'll fill it out in engineering so one, your section, bridge lab, which is not just a boat lab, boat lab. If you put date, you need prompt definition, design, build, and test. An aluminum boat, all right? And then you'll talk about how big it is. It's five by five materials, aluminum. I need five designs. There's no simulation. I need pennies to weigh it down. There's no cost. Okay. Uh, you can disregard that. But this is really, this notebook is how you are to set up your labs. All right. Is there any research you need to do? Yeah, of course. What boat shape is the best for holding pennies uh, within this water? Because that's what the gist of the lab is. You're wanting to see what shape you design will hold the most pennies, um, or what shape you design from this aluminum foil will hold the most pennies. 
because what you're trying to do is figure out, well, why are boats shaped the way that they're shaped? I'm just kidding. That's not really why what you're trying to do. But you are trying to figure out the best shape uh, for buoyancy, right? The best shape for buoyancy, the buoyancy force, uh, which shape will allow you to uh, hold or, you know, how you hold more weight than others uh, within water, right? And pennies is the weight or some type of other thing, you know, something that has weight. Paper has weight, but when you put it in water, uh, that it sinks, okay? So something heavier than, than paper, uh, but not too heavy to where once you put the thing on the aluminum foil, it'll sink it. Uh, so that's why we say pennies. Or if you have some type of dime or quarter, you know, a dime is probably work better, uh, but anyway, hope that makes sense. And so you'll figure out your steps you're taking uh, within your notebook, right? You'll do your you research you do, you write it down, write down your um, your sites that you're using. Um, so because you're going to need to reference that in your lab report. Uh, and then uh, talk about whatever you did to solve the problem. Um, just, just concepts. So you can do your shapes here, you know, shapes of your boats here. Uh, you, you, you can jot it down, you know, on design one, you held five pennies, design two, you know, no pennies, design three, 20 pennies, design four, 100 pennies. However, you know, just <laughs> uh, however you want to do it in that light. And yeah, just talk about really this, that's really the gist of your lab notebook. All right. So let's go back to templates. So also within templates, you have your report template. You know, this is another lab notebook. That's that's just many with the lab notebook. But your report template is also in templates. If you select report template, it is a template for writing your lab report. So after you, I guess I gotta have to open this. One. So after you. Um, Finish your lab experiment, then you want to report on it, right? And remember, everything you write within a report from grade school, you're doing a lab report, everything should be written in past tense because it's what you did, you know, it's not what you are currently doing, you've done it. So when you write your lab report, be sure to write it in past tense. Now, you can work with teams, right? Uh, you can go on to your discussion boards, reach out to certain people. If you know anybody, you don't know anybody, hey, so you can reach out and uh, the maximum of four people per team, four people per team is the max. Then obviously it's one, because if you don't want to work with a group, you just do it by yourself. I always recommend working with a team because you can just get it done faster. Somebody may have the aluminum foil, but hopefully the aluminum foil and the pennies are in one location. Because during COVID, you know, we didn't, it was hard to meet up, you know, but nowadays you can actually meet up if you want, especially if you all live in proximity of one another closely. So you can just drive over to somewhere, meet up, do your lab report, do your, I mean, do your lab experiment, have one person do the notes, you know, as far as the journal. And this is real. One person do the notes in the journal. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you work out the experiment together, you do your whatever calculations if needed. And then you come together and you write the report. And everybody can turn in that same report, right? Because you work together as a team. All right, and so this is the the format or the layout of the report. Just one sheet. So oh, this is your title page, uh, and you have your abstract. The abstract is telling the reader about the objectives. What what are you doing in this experiment? That's all the abstract is. All right, what are you doing? What are you trying to accomplish? What did you accomplish? What are you doing? What are you trying to do? And what did you do in layman's terms? Um, <clears throat> and then you write the objective. The objective is what you're trying to accomplish within this experiment. We are trying to determine what is the best shape for 
countering buoyancy force. Buoyancy force that's going to be applied from the water. What will be the best shape, for, you know, that we could come up using an aluminum foil that will allow us, you know, the best results for holding these pins. Theory and analysis, that's any type of calculation you need to do uh, for solving that, or, you know, solving that problem, that issue. The materials listed, you put them here. Uh, the procedure, the steps you took to designing this experiment, you'll put them here. And a lot of that should be listed straight from your lab notebook. So your lab notebook helps you write this report. Uh, the results, right? How everything turned out from each design you made from your lab report. Uh, discussion, right? This section just allows you to explain what the results mean to you. So it's more like discussion, but it's really like results. Um, but it's really just results, but you can just explain it here in the same discussion. Uh, what did that mean? What was the correlation? Why did this shape only hold so many pins and this one held more pins? Why do you think that? Making engineering assumptions, right? And then your conclusion, based on everything that you accomplished, were you able to accomplish, based on everything you did in this experiment, were you able to accomplish your objective, right? Did you find a best solution for de determining what shape would be the best for the buoyancy force, right? Did you find that? And then your appendix, uh, it could be pictures because you need pictures. You want to show me pictures of your lab experiment, all right? Don't, don't, please do not turn in a report without pictures because I need to know that you did the experiment. Uh, you didn't just jot something down or looked up somebody else's name. So please, please put in pictures of your experiment. Also, this is where your references will go. Any research you did, you'll put them in your appendix section. Oh, sorry. Actually, it's a reference section. Put them in your reference section. How about that? I got ahead of myself. All right. So if you have any questions on this slide, please feel free to email me. And again, you can work in teams. So that is all for your book lab. Thank you.